Well, uh, Mr. Ipa, I will come here to this uh, lesson, and we are still looking at uh, halogens, group seven elements. Uh, last time we covered uh, 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 the trends of the physical properties, okay, variation and uh, in atomic and physical properties of these elements. But today, in this lesson, I want us to cover the methods of preparation of these halogens. Then in another lesson, we'll look at the chemical properties of these elements, okay? So now uh, let's begin with the preparation of the elements. Now, uh, we have got general method of preparing these elements apart from the fluorine. So this method favors the preparation of other three, chlorine, ex uh, fluorine, fluorine exclusive. So, um uh, going to say that uh, all the halogens are prepared all halogens except Except fluorine, except fluorine are prepared by this method. So what we do, we heat, we heat a solid Halide salt. With uh, concentrated sulfuric acid. Right, and that one is occurred in presence. of manganese for oxide. In terms of manganese for oxide. So what happens is that uh, if it is like chlorine, we say that we heat a solid halide salt. So it means that if it is chlorine, I will have two chlorine. We did with the concentrated sulfuric acid. So we have to add an acid. In place of manganese oxide. So we have manganese oxide. This is a solid to form manganese two ions because the uh, manganese will dissolve in the acid. So manganese and water. and then chlorine gas. So that is what we form. Uh, we shall discover the chemistry behind this. Then for the case of, uh, for the case of uh, bromine, the same balancing points, everything is the same. Bromine is a liquid. Then also iodine to iodide. And plus
share form. Uh, from ironing. And iodine is a solid, I2, it is I2, solid. So now uh, this is how uh, halogens are prepared. This is the general method of preparing all of them. So the chemistry behind this, that this concentrated sulfuric acid first reacts with a halide salt. Hmm? Which halide salt can be? It can be potassium chloride, it can be potassium bromide, it can be potassium iodide, or it can be sodium chloride, or sodium bromide, or sodium iodide. Okay? And what it forms, it forms a hydrogen halide. So when this acid, when the sulfuric acid, the concentrated sulfuric acid, when it reacts with the, the halide salts, it forms a hydrogen halide. For example, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen bromide, or hydrogen iodide. Then those Halide is formed, the hydrogen, uh, the hydrogen halide is formed, oxidized to a halogen by manganese oxide. In other words, uh, this one occurs in two steps. A salt first reacting with the acid form a hydrogen halide. Meaning if it is potassium chloride, it reacts with the sulfuric acid to first form hydrogen chloride. In that hydrogen chloride, is oxidized by manganese for oxide to halogen, respectively. So that is what takes place there. Uh, so this is the general method, but uh, these uh, halogens have got specific methods of preparing them. And let's look at preparing uh, one by one. Preparing one by one. So I'll bring it in form of a question. Right, I'll bring it in form of a question and it's going to be described. The reactions. Stating. The conditions under which chlorine can be prepared in the laboratory. State any observation is made. State any observation is made. Preparation. Now this is it for chlorine. Want to see how chlorine is prepared. So chlorine has got uh, basically, some many methods of preparing it, but for the others, we can prepare them using the other general method, of which also chlorine can be prepared by that very method. But uh, in the laboratory, chlorine can be prepared by a vast number of methods. Of course, there is also industrial which we shall bring 
in at the end, because if you are to check very well, we are going to look at manufacture of, of chlorine at the end, at the end of at the end of that topic. Because in 2014, that number squeezed the citizens very, very extremely well. And uh, it would need that start practicing these things as early as possible. So chlorine, methods of preparing chlorine. Stating conditions, of course, to describe the reactions, you have to write the equations also, then state any observations made. So the first method would be, uh, it can be prepared by a reaction between, uh, can be prepared, By a reaction between cold concentrated hydrochloric acid and the potassium permanganate. And potassium permanganate or manganate seven. So there I'm interested in the reactants. Manganate, potassium manganate seven, VII, not IV. <laughs> so yeah, by writing the equation, it would be Potassium permanganate solid plus sixteen hydrochloric acid plus oh that is what reacts. Then we get potassium chloride. We get manganese two chloride and eight molecules of water and five chlorine molecules. So that is the equation, but I will first see what reacts. Then the equation, then if you had stated the observation, potassium permanganate is purple, okay? Uh, so, If you use it, a solution, potassium permanganate solution, you would be saying a purple solution turns colorless. Okay? It turns colorless, and then you form bubbles of a greenish yellow gas, which is chlorine. Bubbles are for greenish, yellow, Gas. Or you'd say a purple solid. All right. These are solids. Yeah, that, those are solids. And uh, the solid now will pass to dissolve. Okay. It will first dissolve. So one would say the purple solid dissolves, forming a colorless solution. All right, and uh, bubbles of a green shallow gas, which green shallow gas is chlorine. So, since we have considered a solid, you would say purple solid dissolves forming 
a catalyst solution. And bubbles of bubbles of a greenish yellow gas. Then the second method, one can use manganese for oxide and hydrochloric acid. But in this reaction, uh, one is required to heat. Before that, one can write the ionic equation of this. One can say two manganate, two potassium manganate ions, 16 hydrogen ions. So this side we have two chlorines and here 16, these ones will reduce to, these ones are four, these are 16. So they will reduce to, to 10. So have 10 chloride ions. Oh, these are two plus 16. When you bring them this side, you will subtract them from 16. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So there will be 10 to form manganese two plus five chlorine gas molecules and then eight molecules of water. Alternatively, we can also prepare it from heating, Concentrated the hydrochloric acid with manganese for oxide. Yeah, we heat concentrated, concentrated hydrochloric acid with the manganese for oxide. So now here the equation would be manganese for oxide plus hydrochloric acid we shall form manganese to chloride solution and chlorine and to water. Ionically, you can have Plus, plus, form manganese two plus chlorine plus water. I always prefer since writing this for these ones for this case because you cannot easily make a mistake. So here, the observation would be manganese oxide is black. So say a black solid dissolves to form a colorless solution and bubbles of greenish yellow gas. Black solid dissolves to form a colorless solution and bubbles of a greenish yellow gas. That is what one would do, we have. It. Then also the third method, 
We can also prepare chlorine by heating concentrated hydrochloric acid. with lead for oxide. With lead for oxide. Well, by the equation would be lead for oxide plus You'll form lead to chloride ah you can write the ionic which takes the same balancing points as that of manganese for oxide here, when you're stating an observation, lead for oxide, dark brown solid. Dissolves, forming a colorless solution and bubbles of a greenish yellow gas. Ah, another one, still you can heat concentrated hydrochloric acid. With dilated to lead for oxide. Dilated to lead for oxide. Oh, what one can call trilated tetraoxide, trilated tetroxide. Okay, so now here it would be the equation would be. Try lead tetroxide solid plus eight molecules of hydrochloric acid will form plus liquid. So as well, one can write the ionic equation. Solid plus because there is a there is a six chlorines. So this side we shall remain with the two chlorides form Plus a gas, and then it's not too water, it's not balancing there, it's supposed to be four. So, when you're stating this observation, this is a red solid. So, a red solid dissolves. forming a colorless solution, forming a colorless solution and uh, bubbles of a greenish yellow gas.
All right, then still another method, the fifth one, we can still hit a solid sodium chloride. Heating solid sodium chloride with the conch sulfuric acid. We looked at this in the general method. Conch sulfuric acid in place of manganese oxide. In place of manganese oxide. So. The equation would be two sodium chloride solid, manganese oxide solid, sulfuric acid, aqueous, shall form sodium sulfate. Manganese to sulfate water or any gas. Or alternatively, you can write a unique equation. Chloride. Then manganese oxide to form manganese two ions two molecules of water chlorine gas. That is what you would have still, right? Then the final method, we can react breaching powder Reacting breaching powder. Uh, breaching powder is calcium hypochlorite. With the dilute nitric acid or dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute. Sulfuric acid, no heating, no heating for this reaction. So, in setting the observation, it means you can have calcium hypochlorite. We add an acid shall form calcium chlorine and water here you can put any 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 acid so it means if it is a sulfuric acid uh, okay for this case You can write either calcium hypochlorite plus two nitric acid to form 
calcium nitrate. Chlorine and water, or you can have calcium hypochlorite plus hydrochloric acid to form calcium chloride, chlorine gas, and water liquid, or you can have calcium hypochlorite plus sulfuric acid from calcium sulfate, chlorine, and water. So the others can be prepared by the other general method. So I want us to come back in our next video and we look at the chemical properties of these elements, all right? Look at the chemical properties of these elements. So let's join back for another video.